and Act meeting of the year when Chairwoman Nora Vargas used the weighted vote to overrule the majority vote for the second vice chair position, which prompted Santee Mayor John Minto and others to walk out of the meeting. Here now to join us on the weighted vote issue is Chula Vista Mayor John McCann. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning and uh, happy MLK Day. Yes, uh, we uh, definitely absolutely. honor him and uh, thank you for your prior se segment. Absolutely happy to uh, honor him. Uh, as we as we talk about this, want to make sure that everybody understands the groundwork here. But of course, even though you were elected as the new mayor of Chula Vista, you were not elected to represent the city of Chula Vista on the Sandag board. Correct. <clears throat> I oppose the vehicle mileage tax. The Which people you of, think is the crux of all of th this issue? I think it's a major, major issue. Uh, Sandag has spent hundreds of millions of dollars and to be able to do any of their projects in the future, they need to raise additional hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, I oppose the vehicle mileage tax and that's one reason why uh, the po political bosses have made it so they've used the special interest to make sure that I'm not on the SANDAG board. Explain the the fact that uh, you know it, it seems as though there was there was so much outrage from voters when this mileage tax came up. It was in the news, and then members of the board who had previously supported this mileage tax seemed to back off of it and say, "Okay, maybe we need to reevaluate because voters don't seem to be behind this." Although now we are understanding that it is still very much at the forefront of what is going to be pushed for. But you, as in running for mayor, did some polling with the city of Chula Vista, and you found what about voters and how they feel about the mileage tax? Well, overwhelmingly, the citizens of Chula Vista opposed the vehicle mileage tax, and Sandag still has the vehicle mileage tax in their transportation plan. So for them to do what they want to do, they need to have that mileage tax. I'm a collaborator. I believe that I can bring both sides together to work together, but again, because I had been opposed to the vehicle mileage tax, I didn't get the support from my colleagues to get on Sandag. How, you know, how do you feel about this as far as uh, the fact that when we were talking about this with members of, of Sandag, I mean, I spoke with the CEO, Hassan Akrata, who said, I'm hoping to have a board with, and after these, these election cycles are over, I'm hoping to have a board that is more collaborative and less confrontational, I mean, contentious. I mean, some of these meetings have gotten downright ugly. Uh, and we heard from Nora Vargas, uh, her speech at the beginning of, of the meeting after being elected chair, that uh, she wanted a board that was gonna work together and we were gonna collaborate and then in that same vein we see we're not taking a, a tally vote and a weighted vote we're going to use the weighted vote to push through an agenda i mean as you as you're sitting back and watching this obviously because it's very important to to your constituents what is your take on how this works well again i i, I would be there if i was there i would be collaborative and i would work with uh supervisor vargas and the east county and North County mayors uh, because I know them. I've been on the council uh, four times now as mayor. Uh, you need to understand that everybody throughout the region has transportation needs. Uh, we all pay hundreds of millions of dollars of uh, the Transnet sales tax over several years and that money is specifically to go for roads and helping alleviate the uh, congestion problems. In addition, transportation and and uh, public transportation. So we need to work together to be able to understand each other's needs and be able to find a collaboration so we can improve our roads and decrease traffic congestion. But how do you see that happening? Well, it, I don't think it's going to happen when you're putting people like me off the board, and I'm not the only mayor that was taken off the board, and then when you're uh, None of the working. mayors in South County were elected to, to the board, of my understanding. Uh, and instead, it was council members who support the mileage tax. Well, again... Is that I, a coincidence? I, I don't think it's a coincidence. <laughs> uh, I, I oppose the mileage tax. Again, uh, my not being on the Sandag board uh, hurts over 200,000 of our residents because they voted me in because I posed the mileage tax and I represent the entire city, not just one segment of the city.
Okay, well, we'll continue to discuss the issue as uh, we move forward and follow Sandex moves. Um, it seems to be getting a lot of attention and, and uh, certainly not seeing uh, any collaboration so far with this new board. Well, again, I think that Sandag, if run right, could be a very, very positive direction in our transportation needs, uh, but we need to make sure we get the right people on there. And uh, I would hope that at some point in time I could get back on there because I would work with everybody in a collaborative way. All right. Mayor John McCann, thank you so much for the time this morning. Certainly appreciate it. Thank you. All right.